So let's talk about the challenges of teaching online. Teaching in an online environment can be very different than teaching in a regular classroom, and it comes with its unique set of benefits and challenges. In this video, we will familiarize you with some of them and help you get prepared and excited to start or continue teaching online. We're not going to sugarcoat it. Teaching online does indeed come with many challenges that many, many people are still trying to figure out how to improve upon. We're talking even the expert here. There is still a lot to learn, but by choosing to teach online, you have the chance to help shape the future of what people understand as best practice in online instruction. Let's talk about the lack of a personal interaction. This is the obvious one, right? One of the clear difference between online and offline teaching is this, the lack of uh, interpersonal uh, exchange. And this form of communication is more important than you might think, because it's giving you a sense of how much your students are able to follow the content, how students are responding to one another, and creating a welcoming and safe atmosphere for your students to feel comfortable engaging and asking questions, especially if they don't know each other beforehand, which is often the case in online learning. Students at Cairo uh, study online and come from many, many countries, so they rarely have the opportunity to meet in person, unless they are located in one of our focus countries and have attended an offline event together. Generally, when students meet in a live tutorial, they are meeting for the first time. Learning research indicates that people learn better in the presence of some emotional connection to the content or to other people. You can probably think of a personal example of when this was true for you, when content feels relevant to your life or when you feel comfortable with a group of people, you may be more likely to not only participate in the discussion, but to question things you don't know as much about and to start understanding that on a deeper level. One way to overcome this obstacle online is devoting time to creating an emotional connection with your students. Creating an emotionally stimulating environment is something good face-to-face -face instructors do intuitively. But creating this emotional connection is particularly challenging in the online classroom. Make sure you establish and reinforce the personal relationship with them, even by sharing your insecurities, your doubts, the challenge you have to overcome as a teacher. Let's now talk about fostering autonomy online. Regardless of whether you're teaching in a self-paced or live environment, it is important not to see students as solely passive consumers of content. This can be difficult to achieve because people are used to passively consuming all sorts of things on the internet, from video to text to opinions and articles. If your students are taking a MOOC, they are bound to be learning more passively than actively because they are ingesting content via video and text with the occasional forum post, learning journal for reflection or activity built in. So how can we motivate and encourage students to engage more actively in an online classroom, whether synchronous or asynchronous? One way we can encourage our students to become more active learners is by developing the inquiry itself. Inquiry-based learning means putting the emphasis of student questions, ideas and analysis, and generating student curiosity in a topic. As you will probably notice yourself, you're more likely to want to learn about something if it relates directly to your life or something you experience, or if you have a personal connection to it. So we encourage you to explore a topic together with your students and search for that personal connection before the lesson and during. Is there a way to make this topic of personal interest to my students? Why should they be interested in this topic? Let's now talk about fostering collaboration online. This is very important because this has been found to be the single most important element of successful online education. It not only motivates learners, but it also promotes a deeper and more critical ever approach to the subject matter. Unfortunately, a collaborative learning environment is not easy to achieve when students are not physically present together and many discussion assignments do not support organic conversation. Encouraging collaborative problem solving and working on your online facilitation skills is a good instructional strategy, but we will talk about this in a more detailed way in the next section, don't worry.